Hello and welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to mount a config map to a Windows Kubernetes pod. So, config map high level overview is a Kubernetes concept. Basically, allows you to specify configuration settings for some kind of application you have. And it's best practice to use a config map rather than bake your config file or something into your container app. Um, because when you use a config map, you're separating your config from your code. And so you can change your config anytime without having to redeploy your app. Uh, so first step is basically get access to a Windows Kubernetes cluster to do this. Um, we're going to use AKS Engine. So that's just a GitHub repo out there. It makes Azure resources for you with Kubernetes setup on it, ready to go. And the next, we will build the app itself using Docker, and finally launch the app on this Kubernetes Windows cluster. So let's get started. Uh, to make the can to make the cluster, we use the script make AKS engine cluster. So I ran this here. Um, hopefully, you should see some output similar. Basically, you just see you know did it succeed or not. And uh, the only thing you provide is a subscription to deploy to. And then this is the config file for your cluster. So you can change a lot of these settings, but this is to set up a Windows Kubernetes cluster with just one Windows node and then uh, enables you to RDP to that node if you need to. All right, so next step is to build the app as a docker image alright so first step is you know you need some kind of code that you're wanting to deploy the code we'll use is this simple app it just reads a file path and it just reads the contents of the file this prints those out to standard out um, to make that into a container we use this docker file here uh, basically it just uses golang to compile the code into a binary app.exe and then it copies that binary into a lightweight windows container image nano server and then here entry point basically just says when the app is when the container starts that's the app you want to run so i mean we can do the build if you'd like but i've built this already and pushed it to my public container registry so it's available to you um, I can show you the tag config map uh, here so this tag kills codes Azure CR this one that's the app so basically I built the app and then launched to Azure container registry and then uh, it's available publicly okay so next is to actually just deploy this app um, onto the Windows Kubernetes cluster. So here, let's explain a little bit. This is just a pod, a YAML file for Kubernetes, and it's saying basically launch this pod onto a Windows machine, and then here in containers, we're going to use the image previously described, which just reads this file path here uh, and prints out the contents. So you'll notice the file path we give is you know C config map directory and then config file JSON. So now we'll figure out how that is created. Uh, so let's just skip down a little bit to this part config map. So this is the Kubernetes construct called config map. You basically just give it a name and then here in the data section you specify what you want this file name called. So I just said config file dot JSON. And all it contains is a simple JSON value, config key to value. All right, so then up above, let's talk about this volumes. So the volumes structure is at the pod level. You'll notice um, it's at the same level as, as containers. So it relates to basically everything in the pod. And uh, you give it a name, and we specify what type of this, what type of this volume it is um, config map there are other volumes you can mount but we basically just say you know go down here and use this config map we've created my config map 
So then in the volume mounts, that's per container. And then per container, you basically specify which volume you want to mount, as well as what directory the pod will know it as. So we have said slash config map directory, which is why in this argument, we specify C config map directory config file.json because this volume mount will write the file to this path essentially. So let's just copy this code here and run this. Oops. Copy. Okay, so we'll see two things. First is that the pod is created. Second is that this config map is created because they are two separate objects that we tied together. So now we have two objects and uh, we can even see these like objects through kubectl. So let's take a look. Get config map. We see my config map. And we can look at it. I mean, just get it in YAML format. There it is. I mean, here's the data, config map, .json. All right, um, so what else? We can check out, finally, uh, the logs of the application. So if we look above really quick, what was this going to do anyways? So it just reads, you know, I'm going to print this file. And then it prints the file contents. That's all it does. So if we get the logs for the pod, well, let's check out what's in those. Here we go. So, config map file map uh, file path. There it is, as well as the config map itself as a file. So, that's how you mount config maps as files in your Windows pods. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. You know, if you did, leave a like, subscribe. We'll have plenty more videos to come about Kubernetes, Azure, Docker. Um, and lots of other dev-related things. So thank you for watching.